Alright guys, welcome back to Kings of the Old World, Qualifier 5. We got Lionheart here in the red trunks, on the Ottomans, up against Sompu Konku here on the British. So welcome back to the largest 2022 tournament for Age of Empires 3 DE. Up to a grand total of a $9,000 prize pool. Looks to climb even higher now. There's a couple more banners being thrown down here. The Sompu while Mosk start for our Ottoman player Lionheart. So he's not looking to go for a 9 villager age up start I don't think. Trading post here for Lionheart as well as a house. To start food gathering, he's not going to work on getting a very early. Uh, it's a Kapoli Viziers. Now that's the H2 upgrade. Is it millet system for the quicker, quicker training villages? He's going to ship three of them though. So we're going to ship three as well. Sompu. Is uh, able to fit in a third mana now. Funny bit of food now too. So Lionheart, you're up to eight, soon eleven villages. Sompu up to eleven, soon fourteen. Sorry, twelve, soon fifteen. So British have a very boomy villager start, while Ottoman. Definitely the other end of the spectrum. They need to get upgrades to increase the train speed of their free villagers that take about three times as long to actually train as a normal villager. I mean, they're free, but yeah, you've got to get upgrades to both speed up the train time and lift the cap of how many you can have. But our Ottoman player is saving on having to spend on settlers early on. He's aging up now. Sompu's age up. It's a little bit slower here. Nice food treasure there for Lion Heart, but uh, perhaps a little bit too slow because he's already starting to transition to aging up and having to gather gold and perhaps a bit of wood here. So Lionheart getting the governor. Hey governor. And Sompu Konku also getting governor. It's slightly slower on the age up there, but certainly got more villagers than his opponent. A lead of five at the moment, which is pretty massive in terms of the eco. And Lionheart would need nine more village nine more wood to get faster training villagers through this. And he is training villagers while he ages up as Ottoman, so it is pretty big to make sure you get millet system as early as you can if you're, you know, if you're that fucking close to getting it, man, there's like no reason to not get it. Like, if you're within 10 wood, man, slow down on what the fuck you're doing and take it. Like, he's banking up so much food at the moment. He's going to be able to go towards that uh, quick fortress here, but why not get millet system? Fit an extra two or three villages by uh, the time your build really gets going. Okay. So, outpost wagon for defense. Coin as well. It's Sompu Konku looking to do something similar. Adding a market as well so he can add some eco tax. Increase his uh, gather rates. So Sompu shitting, shitting, shipping wood. It's going to mean lots of manners, a huge villager boom. It gives him the option of adding military production if he needs to. Well, Lionheart looks to be just going for a quick fortress age here. He's still just on this first hunt. And uh, 
shipping coin than wood so he'll be able to defend and start producing structures while he takes his age up. Sampu. Just sitting in, uh, I was going to say feudal, but commerce a little bit longer, but for now, he's uh, going to be, well he's fitted out the barracks at the side here, yes. actually bringing his outpost forward to try and put as close to his opponent's base as possible, give himself a nice aggressive fallback point, start taking more eco text through this, and he can ship longbows to the outpost, but he's going to do that probably next shipment because he's for now going to ship the five settlers and he spent what extra wood he had on getting a fuckload of manor houses. It's up to 23 villages now because of it to Lionheart 16. I'm not sure if he's actually fitted in millet system yet here. Yeah, here we go. So he's finally got millet system, but again, probably about a minute later than I would have liked him to get it. Considering his place, nothing down, you know, with all the wood he's got. So realistically, I think he probably should have taken Millet System ASAP. And even now he's got stacks of wood, but he needs to actually spend it getting production facilities, maybe even taking the second trade post to give his opponent something to waste time on while he actually, you know, produces shit at home. Sompu. A lot of muskets already. Lionheart gonna have to try and defend with Avis guns or Falconets and Janissaries here. On well, for the second town center already and shipping a uh, third one. Erdogan is an alien. Man, if you're watching, you can't see that. <laughs> So a third town center here. Lionheart. Very greedy opening. Sompu. Actually not really able to pressure it considering how few of the muskets he has at the moment. He's mostly just trying to save his explorer. By the looks of things and maybe pick off a vill on the way out. Although he's going to lose just about everything. And lose the explorer. Stephen Chancellor. Nice Vilmicro here from uh, Lionheart. Waste his time 2022. Behind the Sompu. Now shipping a lot of coin. He's taking a few eco upgrades. Way up to the seven manors at home. Another one over here. Didn't we apply the pressure? But now Lionheart. Uh, so then we got the one Vill production speed tech, so even though he's got three town centers, he's really only producing a little bit over the rate of the single vill of the town center of uh, Sompikonku until he gets the second tier um, upgrade for the Ottoman Vill production speed. He hasn't quite got two, like he hasn't got three versus one normal TC advantage is actually more like one versus two or one versus 1.8 at the moment in favor of Lionheart. So Sompu, it's a nice musket advantage at the moment. Might be able to take out this trading post, but at the same time, Lionheart should be safe to actually defend this until he does. Here we go. Now he's getting Cropoli Viziers. This will really actually give him a nice, you know, two, two and a half versus one. Vill train speed advantage. He's also going to add Galata Tower District so he can go all the way up to I think it's 45 or 50 max villages instead of uh, the 25 that he's at. Yeah, because at 23. So he's playing that really close and I like to see that. Okay, so the bags. So he's going to start Janissary production. Grand Bazaar following up straight after Gal Galata Tower District. So again, now he really is pulling towards triple village production speed. In fact, I think with that upgrade, he even goes slightly faster than standard Ville production speed. I don't know. It's a pretty big jump that you get out of the upgrades. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, 45 Ville limit. 
Lionheart now up to 28 vils to the 41 of Sompu, so with standard vil production and British manners, he's got himself a nice 13 vil lead, but at the same time, there's now defenders here for Lionheart. It's actually looking pretty comfortable. Sompu finds him and himself an age down, but he is aging up now, and he is leaving himself space to either go Falconets or Hussar here. He's got a card in the bank straight away, adding more manners now as well. More villagers on the way. Impressive 3TC, 4TC eco here actually for our Ottoman player. So now he's basically, yeah, got like three villager, four, yeah, three villager production speed advantage over Sompu. Maybe slightly less because of the Ottoman TCs, but at the same time, he has all three tiers of the villager um, train speed bonus there. To really pull them into line with standard build train speed. Sorry to talk about that all game, but it's sort of, you know, a really important mechanic to understand if you are trying to play a boomy Ottoman playstyle. Oh, so covered wagon being picked off. Oh, not quite. Oh yeah, it will be. So that's really rough for Sompu, who's losing a covered wagon basically for free there to Lionheart. At the same time, pushing back at home. So that's a really nice spot there for Lionheart picking that off. It's really slows down Sompu's eco now. And we got the four village of production, and the two Falconets on the way. Sompu shipping Falconets and getting infantry upgrades, but for now, he's got one town center vill production. He's gonna have to get a shitload of wood, and wait. Oh, I was going to say, wait to try and get a card to send another TC, but he can't do that because he doesn't have it in the deck, so. Sompu now. Yeah, needs to save up the wood for another town center or really double down and just commit to the aggression here, and I think he might actually stick with doing that for now. Picking off a couple of bills here. While he takes the engagement up at the top, the Falconet's going to be able to tear through part of the army, but he's going to disengage in the meanwhile. Sniped a couple of villagers, so Sompu on 54 vils to the 44 for Lionheart. So Lionheart was really well within that uh, 10 vil gap, and it wouldn't have taken him long to really start creeping ahead, but now he's uh, 9 vils apart once again. Sompu can maybe look at hitting and running once again. Ottoman player. Adding great coat now. English player's already added it. So it's nice to have just that uh, extra, is it 30% healthy villagers? Really solid. Now Sompu finds his forward base under a bit of threat here. But he does have a Falconet training. He's uh, got the army moving over. He's even got the Falconets. He's ship moving over, which is he needs to get them here ASAP because Lionheart is already pushing with his. And just ignore this up in the corner here, guys. Sorry to bring it up if you hadn't already noticed it. Fuck me. I'm silly. I shouldn't have brought it up. There's already two Raxes here. Sompu. Ready to try and defend this. And 30 pop there to. 95 here for Lionheart. But man, that's a huge saving here of 400 food every 40 seconds or so. Sorry, every 15 seconds or so, but he's now 55 out of 70. Needing more pop space as well. Lionheart really needs to just build a couple of houses right now because he's pop capped. 
Just needs to get some units out to help defend here. He's got a huge amount of wood in the bank, but he's sort of more worried about just maneuvering his army into place for the moment. But meanwhile, he's going to lose a town center for relatively nothing. Sobby going to try and take out the outpost as well. He's going to drop the Falconets. That's good of Lionheart to pick that off because he's still down on the Falconet count. Intending nearly to deal with the Mamelukes. Others being sent around to try and pick off the Falks, it seems. Sompu now. Still one Falconet up here. Actually, now the two up. That'll be a nice fight for him and Lionheart. Doesn't have any siege in production. Sompu's able to trade more if he wishes. And he's also going to ship Hussar here. So he'll be able to pick off any Lionheart that follows up with here. But Lionheart. Still safe and secure, got three town centers, he can definitely get the wood to go for a fourth. He's trying that hard to make sure he got the fourth out ASAP, or get the artillery foundry, which is what he's going to opt for first, but he's, you know, was still struggling how, for population through all that. Not that it matters now, because he's lost so much, so I'm going to try and punish his army size. Sombu seems to really be snowballing ahead now. It's Fahi being shipped now. These guys, even against uh, muskets, are really going to get the job done. And they're going to be supported by the Janissaries. It's going to repel Sombu Honku for the minute, who's uh, shipping muskets. He's sending Hussar out in the mount to try and pick off the settler of uh, Lionheart. Lionheart has really taken out most of the uh, muskets here. I'm lose the spy here if he can help it. Looks like something going to start Falk production once again. see a fourth down center or what so Lionheart might even need to go for a mill here try to garrison some of these villages to keep them protected pick up a Hussar if possible so his map control is really punishing the food eco for uh, Lionheart at the minute who's having to have all these villages Rally around the map to do different things. Lionheart just not producing any military. He needs to actually get more houses now. So he's getting some more Janissaries and Abus guns. Well, we've got uh, just musk production here for Sompi Konku. He's got a good number of Falconets. He's up to the four of them now. As British, he's always got more houses than he actually needs anyway. Because of the uh, free villager that they give him. Uh, Ottoman player having to try and fight between these buildings and also protect his villagers here. And these Abus guns from the Hussar. Yeah, try and punish Falconet somehow. He's got some culverins in the forest. This is great for Lionheart. At the same time, Sompu just using the Falconet mass to try and pick off the culverins. He manages to clean up the two of them with his. Well, it was once five Falconets. Now three really low Falconets. Lionheart really needs to split up his infantry and try and take out the two low falconets, or maybe even sit and wait if he can somehow muster up some cavalry or another culverin or falconet here. 
Sompu adding more siege behind this. My heart possibly needs to even look at pressuring his opponent right now. If he can, because if he's gonna just sit back until his base is destroyed and he's got nothing to actually defend with, then he's either gonna have to take that fight like he does now and pick off the two Falconets and hope for the best. He's just got to try and pressure his opponent's eco, so he's, you know, he's done just that now. He's got one of the Falconets left, but another one being built here by Sompu and Sompukonku. Now adding refrigeration, going to transition to a ma uh, mill eco very soon. I think he's already done so. Town center of the Lionheart under threat. He's just doing the dance underneath the two town centers. Sompukonku is careful to not fight with the Falconet in the range of both TC's because it'll just get picked off. Falcon it is eventually going to get picked off though. So I think it might still be in range of that first town center. Yeah. Just that much siege. I don't know if Lionheart has anything left. He's going to ship more Janissaries. He gets some siege of his own. I think this will be it. If he can, unless he can hold on that long. Well, this is a nice villager rally here. These guys should be able to melee down the uh, falconets if they can get in melee range. So do reasonable damage to them, but at the same time, Tokunaku's doing well to keep them back. He's picked off all those villagers. He's still got enough his own army left and one of the falconets he can still contend with some Konkus with uh Lionheart's infantry here so I'm gonna push once again now I've got more falcs just cleaning up production he's gonna try and pick off this lone town center now if he can that'll be it for static defense for Lionheart he'll have no choice but to try and fight before his base is gone You know, just Mac going up well behind this, getting seed drill, he's getting more siege. And the other one town center he's all the way up to 82 bills. 54 for Lionheart is now got no town centers left. The siege has been cleaned up here by a handy artillery foundry here for Lionheart, but he's so far behind he's gotta try and build a town center with basically nothing left. Sorry to sort of write him off already, but Sompu's just been in control of the last few minutes pretty substantially. Now he's going to have to contend with the fact that his opponent's got a little bit of siege, but is well behind on Eco. Lionheart adding a culverin. I mean, just to try and clean up Falconets. But Sompu's just going to mass up a huge number of muskets. Add another musket card here. So a pair of town centers being added by our Ottoman player, so he's trying to recover here. Still only about that 100 population mark. 55 eco, top up to 85 eco. 167 pop, and looking to get to 200 pretty soon. Getting the last of his eco techs that he needs. He's now taking House of Vasa, so he can get Order of Vasa for that lovely eco steroid. You're gonna get. Tar kilns for the eco benefit that offers. He's going to push forward. Plenty of culverins now. So these falconets being cleaned up by both players. GG. Lionheart tapping out. Sompu takes the game, but not without a bit of a struggle.